In this video, I will show you how to read a metric tape measure. Now, the great thing about metric is that everything on the tape is in whole numbers. There's no fractions whatsoever, okay? Whole numbers. So, if you can uh, master adding whole numbers unassisted, you will be able to read a tape measure within a few minutes. A way to tell that this is a metric tape measure, or uh, two rulers here, one under another, is that it's got a reference to the metric system. It says centimeters on it. And uh, so does this one. Another thing on uh, this upper one, it also says millimeters. What these mean is that every whole number on the tape is centimeters. Let me just get rid of the title. So that's one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, and so on. Another thing that uh, should be noted is that zero starts here. Now this tape doesn't have a zero on it printed, but I can write a zero there, and uh, it should be uh, obvious that there is an invisible zero there. Now, why this is important is that the measurements can start from the zero. Measurements don't start from the edge of the ruler. Okay? That's the thing about rulers. Don't start your measurements, ladies and gentlemen, from the edge of the ruler. Okay? If you have a tape measure with a hook end, it's not so much of an issue. But uh, if you have a 100 foot long uh, tape measure with, uh, where the uh, hook uh, needs to be considered differently then it is a similar issue the edge of the ruler is not where zero is so don't use the edge of the ruler for measuring much anything don't include this portion of the ruler here into your measurements unaccounted okay so let me just uh, zoom into it a little bit. Uh, let's zoom out and this is zoom in and let's measure something about there. Okay. So to uh, the great thing about the metric measurements here is that all your blueprints are in metric and so they are immediately useful without converting it into anything and uh, in it uh, you will see everything in millimeters so to read a metric tape measure you only really need to count the millimeters and this is how it goes say the length of this small arrow that I drew in there is exactly one millimeter the length of the arrow extends from that millimeter line to that millimeter line. I know it's a small thing in the screen, but the length of that uh, arrow is exactly one millimeter there. To give you another example, the length of this arrow here extends from this millimeter line to that millimeter line to take a reading on this one you have to count again the same way one two three four five six seven this one is seven millimeters long okay now it's very important when you read a tape measure metric or not metric that you don't count the lines you count the gaps between the lines okay watch me here this is when I'm counting the lines. This is line one, this is line two, this is line three, this is millimeter line four, this is millimeter line five, this is millimeter line six, this is millimeter line seven, and this is millimeter line eight. But the length of the line is seven millimeters because you shouldn't count the number of lines. You should count the gaps between the lines. Okay, 
So again, we start at the first line, but this is the first gap there. Okay? Then the second jump there to the to there, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. You're counting the gaps between the lines, okay? Don't ever count the number of lines. You count the gaps between the lines. So seven gaps, seven millimeters. The length of the blue arrow is exactly seven millimeters long. Now, let's measure something. How about this uh, wooden block here? And, uh, let's see, now you have a pen in view as well. Let me, let me put this one further down, something like that. Get rid of the pen. Thereabouts, I just taped it down there. Just a little bit sideways. There. Now everybody can see it. Let's measure the length of this block. It starts here at this hairline on the millimeter uh, on the metric ruler. That's one gap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one is twelve millimeters long. Now, because this is metric, everything is in multiples of 10. So, uh, 12 millimeters is the same. Let me just zoom out a little bit. There. 12 millimeters is exactly the same thing to say as 1 centimeter and 2 millimeters. I know I didn't start at zero, but you don't have to. You can uh, start measuring and measure things anywhere on this metric ruler here. Of course, you can start on the zero line as well. Let me just retape it here. And now, just a little repositioning there. And now it is easier to read that indeed the width of this, blue, of this wooden block is 12 millimeters. You can just go one jump here for 10 millimeters and one, two, plus two more. So 10 plus two make 12. So the width of this block is 12 millimeters. Uh, lastly, let's see how wide this block is. Let's start at the zero and uh, see how it goes. And uh, maybe I can uh, Zoom in a little bit and go sideways. That's a little too close. There, that should be that should be it there. So I want to count in multiples of ten. Here is the first one centimeter, so that's ten millimeters there, twenty millimeters there, thirty millimeters there. And then we have some uh, more that needs to be counted. One, two, three, four more. Ten here, plus ten, plus ten, plus four. Makes uh, thirty, plus four is thirty-four millimeters in total. Millimeters. There. The width of the block is thirty-four millimeters. Or, in other words, it's also the same as 3 centimeters and 4 millimeters. On your blueprints you will never see centimeters but just for the uh, math part of it 34 millimeters same thing as 3 centimeters and 4, four millimeters. Uh, however when uh, you take your practice measurements measuring screws, bolts, uh, hardware and uh, samples of wood don't give me centimeters. I want just one number and it's millimeters, okay? The reason for it is that uh, uh, the, uh, your blueprints are in exclusively in millimeters and, uh, and uh, the reason for using millimeters only and not the centimeters is 
that you have only one kind of number, just one number to describe the item. Okay, so instead of two numbers, like this piece of wood, which is three centimeters and four millimeters, you have two numbers. Instead of that, you can have just one number, 34 millimeters. And, it's, uh, and uh, if, it's, uh, if an item is specified that way, it's less likely that people make uh, mistakes with uh, cutting and making it. So that's how to read a tape measure.